What up y'all, T-Skip here and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna go over every single spirit beast that is in the game as of 10.2. So there's quite a few different models. Some are gonna be easier to get than others, but this will at least give you a visual guide of if there's a certain model you like uh, compared to others that can match, you know, whatever your transmog mount, anything like that. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so before we go over each of the spirit beasts and their locations, I quickly just wanted to run down what a spirit beast is. So just in case you're new to the spec or just picking up Hunter for the first time. So a spirit beast is an exotic pet, which means only the beast mastery specialization will be able to get these pets. So each of the spirit beasts that you collect will be a tenacity pet. So, which means you'll have your tenacity on use ability and your tenacity passive, which the on use is increases your maximum health of you and your pet by 20% and heals you for that amount. And your passive is going to be you and your pet gain 7% increased health. Now, the only difference between spirit beasts and other pets are these two abilities. Now, I will say back in the day, these things were really good, were like really good, but Blizzard has nerfed them down to where they're good, I guess, but they're nowhere near what they used to be. So just keep that in mind. Um, the first one is Spirit Men. Uh, the Spirit Bees heals the current friendly target for 7,948 plus an additional 26,000 over 10 seconds. Now, if you click this, you'll see no valid targets. You'll have to aim it and then hit it. But what I do is I have a macro for a self. So you can use it for other players if you'd like to have that, but if you really just want to keep it for yourself for sticky situations, you can macro it and your spirit beast will automatically target you. And just in case somebody wants to see what that looks like, here it is right here. It's slash cast, uh, the parentheses target equals, then your name, parentheses, spirit mend. And that will get it to where it'll always cast on you. The other ability is Spirit Pulse. Now this one used to be really good. Uh, it used to be the same thing as pretty much your Trank Shot, which I don't have that talent on right now, but it used to remove uh, uh, the disease magic, stuff like that from your targets. But Blizzard has since moved that over to Trank Shot. So, now we don't really have to use this for, you know, a pet. But I guess it could be decent in PvP if your uh, pet's getting blown up. Uh, I've never honestly used it. But Spirit Pulse, uh, a pulse a spirit energy releases from the spirit beast, removing one disease, magic, or poison effect from itself. So say I use it right here, it'll remove it. So those are really the only differences other than how to tame them because some of these can be a pain but other than that they just have a unique model and that's really the reason i like collecting them it's just like a mini side game but just before we get into this list like if the, you don't see any that you don't really like or want to go after you don't have to blizzard has pretty much nerfed the spirit beast down so they're not required you can use whatever pet you want these are just my favorites and I figured, hey, I'd make a list for everybody to go out and get. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into them. All right, so the first one up on the list is gonna be the Mana Saver. Now, the reason I put this one first is just in case you just wanted a Spirit Beast, you didn't care about the model or what it looked like or anything like that, this will be by far the easiest one to get because a lot of the other ones have tricky ways of getting them. They could be a Spawn Timer or certain ways to get them. Where this one, you just fly out here and tame it. So we are in the Broken Isles in Suramar. So Suramar will be right there in the middle. Now there are a couple spread out like over here in the Crimson Thicket or over here. But uh, up here at the very top where I am at 3621, there are plenty around here to just tame. One there, one there, one there. You just drop down, boom, tame the main saber, and you'll get it. There's a 
three different colors. There's a purple, uh, I'm thinking like a lighter blue, and there's one other one. But pretty much just fly around here, look for whichever one you like, and that'll be it. Super easy to get. Uh, there's a couple, um, if you look for different ones out around here, here, um, there'll be regular like tigers or sabers out there. What you're looking for is, as you can see there, the glow on them and the marks on their body. That's how you'll know that they are the spirit beast. So, uh, with that one out of the way, we'll move on to the other ones. So for the next spirit beast on the list will be the bear spirit beast, Arcturus. Uh, he spawns in the grizzly hills of Old Northrend at 3056. So you just come to, you take, go to Old Dalaran and you can take this flight path right here, the Amber Pine Lodge. So as soon as you land here, he can spawn anywhere in this area right here. So this spirit beast is going to be on a time base, a timer. So if you're on a low pop, there's a good chance you can come out here and find it. But if you're on a high pop, there more than likely will be other hunters that are camp it or grab it. So there's a good chance you're just gonna have to sit here, maybe throw on some Netflix or whatever you watch, maybe some YouTube and just camp it. Uh, another recommendation I should have probably mentioned in the intro, but completely forgot. And this will go for all the other spirit beasts as well is it could be very helpful to have a rare finder add-on. I think the add-on is called rare finder, but it will make a noise when a rare spawns. So it could really help you getting a hold of this one. But and when he does spawn, he'll just walk around in this area all around here. And once you see him, you just tame him. But it could take a little bit. Just know if you do want this one, uh, there could be a good chance you'll be sitting here for a little bit. But this is where to get a hold of this one. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so for the next spirit beast on the list is Banthalos. It is the owl spirit beast. And it spawns in Mount Hygel in Kalimdor. So right here, and it'll be right here at the sanctuary of Malorun. And she pretty much spawns and flies around in this area. So she'll be up in the air flying, which will be pretty daggone high in the air. So two recommendations I can give. One is use your regular mount and get on top of a tree like this that you can actually land on. So if you can see right here, I'm just standing on it and I can mount up. So when I go up, I can hit her and I'll fall right on top of the tree. So I won't do much damage way down here or if it'll get out of sight. Now, the other recommendation I will say is once you get to a max level, you're gonna pretty much one shot trying to get aggro. So, uh, I know there's a little gnome that sells toys and all that, that walks around in the storm wind. I know there's one in the horde too. I just don't know the name of either of them, but you can buy older toys from them. And one thing they do sell is this right here, Red Rider BB gun. So this right here is a great little toy you can use that will do, I think just one damage. So you won't overshoot. Um, I haven't tried it. You, I guess you could run the naked build, take everything off. But once you're at 70, there's a good chance you could one shot them. So I would personally buy this and use this instead of using any other weapon or anything else because this isn't going to do hardly any damage and it'll get you aggro so what you'll end up doing is going up in the air waiting for it tag it with well you'll go up you'll let go you'll shoot it it'll have aggro you'll fall onto the branch and then you'll be able to tame it um you can grab some pots or, well that's pretty much it of it. You're just going to have to wait for this one to spawn. Cause as you can see, it's not up. Somebody might already came by and tamed it. Uh, it's one of those, you're going to have to wait around to get one, but I hope that little information makes things a little bit easier to get a hold of. 
and now we'll move on to the next spirit beast so the next spirit beast is actually two spirit beasts it's the cat and anarcha and magra something like that i'll have all these names in the list and in the timestamps, because i know i'm butchering them and i will but if you're after the owl they're in the pretty much the exact same spot so we're still in mount hygel still on calendar and where the owl was right here right here the regrowth yeah both of these tigers spawn in the exact same place and walk the exact same path now they're just like the other older ones they are on a timer so you don't know exactly when they're going to be up it's one of those you'll have to park your character or come back and check it every now and then but right here back and forth in the regrowth they walk really slow down this path and then they turn back around and walk back so it'll be either or the other one but basically when you come out here you can i've seen people just sit basically right here because i want to say they spawn up here but i can't confirm that but they'll come all the way up here and then they'll turn around and go back down this way and they just walk back and forth until somebody either tames them or kills them and they'll come all the way down here and then basically do the same thing they'll turn back around and walk back so that's those two and there's one other uh tiger spirit beast that will head there now all right so for the purple version of the tiger spirit beast we're coming out here to zoldrick out here in northern so you can take the flight path to zim torga and there's a couple different spawn points for this one it's either going to be here up against the wall near the altar up against this altar and over here in this corner so let's say right around here then if it's not there so you basically do a circle in this area right here so now we'll head over here just to check and see if it's up or not or somebody else has gotten it. We'll head this way. And look around over here. Don't see it, so now We will head over here. Don't see it. So now, can't remember what it's on over here. I don't think so, but we can check. Nah. Then it can also spawn over here in this corner. So let's see. Nope. Right there. And check one more over here. Well, those are those areas for those. Those are all three of the tiger spirit beasts. Um, now we will move on to the other ones that are out here in this zone. Next spirit beast is a crowd favorite is Skull. And this one comes from the Storm Peaks and the Northern. Uh, so what you do is you're gonna come up here and we'll start hit this spot uh, let me get a little closer. It can spawn here, here, or right up here. And just to let you know, I know uh, the video format saying here, here isn't always the best. I will be putting in the Pitopia um, website in the description. So if you want a visual, a better visual than me just talking about it, you can just scroll through there and you'll be able to see them. But this is the first spot. It would spawn right here. The next spot 
is over here. I want to keep an eye out for that time lost proto Drake. <laughs> it spawns out here if you didn't know. I still haven't gotten that mount. Uh, we will fly over here. Find it. Just a cruise. I got mine back at that spot. I think it's the other one. I think it spawns right here. Pretty sure. And then the other one would be over here. Right there at that little cave area. And that first spot I was at, there was a hunter sitting there camping that one. So some of these can be kind of difficult or you'll have to log in at odd hours or have your hunter alt just sit there. Things like that. Right here. That's it. Right, back here. Right around here. And it's not up. But those are the three spots for scroll. And now we're going to head to my personal favorite the Spirit Beast, the Leopard. All right. So we are in Solzar Basin in Old Northern. Now, this is my favorite one. Uh, this is the White Leopard uh, Spirit Beast. And this one can spawn in quite a few places here, 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 here. It won't spawn in here. So my recommendation is just to start on the sides and either fly back and forth or you can pick a spot. I just got out here. Well, and there was a hunter sitting here. I guess he's just logging in, logging off. But we can start here and just see if it's up or not. So we'll go this way. This is where a rare scanner add-on can come in handy. Uh, if you don't want to camp a spot or anything, you can fly back and forth. It's whichever you would like to do. Camp a spot or just have an alt. Uh, just sit there, log in every now and then. Whichever works best for you. Then we can go past this one. So don't see that. this river over here back over here and this is where we will just cruise the side I still remember getting this one so long ago. I was happy for this one. It was just, at least at the time, it was the only one that wasn't the see-through look. And that's why I liked it so much. Just had the unique white with the blue eyes and the mouth. I don't think we're gonna find it up right now. 
That's the only thing with these old ones is just having to sit here. Or you can just check it or check every now and then. It's however you want to do it if you're after them. And we will check the last spot up here. So that's where the leopard comes from out here. Now we'll move on to another spirit beast. For this spirit beast will be the crab spirit beast, uh, ghost crawler. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it's just a throw to the old lead system designer ghost crawler. Um, but basically this one comes from the abysmal deaths in Valsara. Now this, if you don't know how to get here, in your capital city, there'll be a little area. I know for the Alliance, it'll be far to the right. And the Horde, I think, is up above at the top of the area. They won't be in the portal rooms. They'll be in a different little area with a couple other ones near them, like ones from Mount Hydro and all. But you'll be looking for Valsara. And it'll be down here in the abysmal deeps in just this corner right here. Now I can spawn in several different areas. So we'll just swim around just to see. There's not a lot of people come out here anymore. So we will take a gander if we can find them out here or not. But yeah, he spawns in multiple different ones. It's been so long since I've caught this one. I did read that it goes in and out of sight. No, I'm not sure how true that one is. Like, they could see it, didn't see it. Uh, but I know I got mine a very long time ago. But it could be true. Like, if it goes underneath these shadows. But, let's see. We can just cruise around. This is a interesting zone. seeing this one either but this is the area it is i guess you can just constantly just swim around and see if you can get a hold of them plus this could be another one for the rare finder um, yeah i'll just swim around this corner and see and then we'll move on to the next one if we don't find them Things. 
Well, didn't run across it, but that's where the spirit crab beast comes from. So let's move on to another one. All right, so for the next spirit beast, it's gonna be the porcupine uh, spirit beast. There's three different colors. And to start with, we'll do the green one. So we're in Pandera in the Jade Forest at 4828. Now, this one has a pretty quick respawn time, but the trick with this one is you have to get it to 30% of health to be able to tame it. So if you click it and mouse over right here, strong will cannot be tamed until weakened. So as we've gone up in level, this has become kind of difficult once you get up to 70. So I'll show, if I try and tame it, see it'll walk up and I cannot tame it at all. So let's go ahead and reset. So what I've seen online, and I tried it earlier and it wasn't the greatest. Uh, it does have a heal. So what I have done is remove all my armor. And what I'm going to do is fly up to real high and drop. And the reason I'm doing this is so when I release, I'm going to release at the spirit healer to get a res sickness. So accept this. And once I get res sickness, you can see right here, everything is decreased by 75%. Now I will go ahead and say, I just tried this earlier and I still two shot this guy. So now I'm gonna try it again and try to do it a little bit simpler. So what I'm gonna do is just hit him one time and see where this happens. So hit, okay, hit him again. All right, there we go. Now he's at 32. So now, oh yeah, 30%. Okay, let's try the BB gun. Let's see how much damage it'll do. All right, see, so see how he healed? So now let's try and hit him again. 29. So now he's at 29% and boom. Now you can see I can actually tame him. That was a little rough one right there. So. That's how you'll get these. Uh, that was a little tricky, but you still can do it. So now let's move on to the next one. Next porcupine is gonna be the blue one, Gummy. And if you ever farm in the Shy of Anger, it's pretty much right above it. So we are still in Pandaland, but we're at the Kumas Summit at 5457. Now these are gonna be the exact same as the last one. Uh, you can't tame it unless it's at least 30% or lower. So just do the exact same thing I did on the other one and you can get this blue one. So we got one more porcupine to look at and then we can head to the other ones. All right, so for the final Spirit Beast porcupine, this will be the red color. And we're still in pain to land, but we are at the Valley of the Four Winds right here on the border. So for this one, unlike the other ones that stay stationary, this one patrols the bottom. So we'll go down here. I've already looked for it and it wasn't up. I'm guessing somebody might've killed it while they were doing the world boss, but it'll go up this way and then turn back around and keep going. But it will have the exact same as the other porcupines where you're gonna have to lower it down to 30%. So go back to the not the last one, but the one before this, and see how I did that one, which is pretty much just take off all your armor and get res sickness and do it that way. So we got those down. Let's move on to the next one. And so for the last spirit beast that's in Panda Land, we are heading to the, what's it called? Mugushan Volts. And it is located at 6038. Now there's a few steps I want to go over before you go and tame this one. Uh, you will have to have the term um, how to tame a cloud serpent. Now you get this in the Jade Forest right here at the Arboretum. You'll have to get exalted with the cloud serpents, I think it is, uh, the Order of the Cloud Serpents. And they sell a tomb that will unlock the ability to tame cloud serpents. Now one thing I do want to mention is if you have another character or you play another name main that got exalted with them, 
you can go with that character by the tomb and just learn it on the character that is exalted with them. Don't send it to your hunter. They learn it on the character who is exalted with it. And that will give you the ability to do it on your hunter. So once you have done that and you have the tip, you've learned it. You're going to come to the raid, which is right here. I'll say again, 6038. And we will go ahead and head inside. Alrighty. So once we're inside, we will take off. Where is this guy? Maybe we'll see how long it takes. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's run down here. It's been a minute since I did this area. I think these guys come alive. I was gonna speed this up, but I'm gonna keep it normal just so if anybody's not used to this raid, they can see what's taking so long. Come on, Lil Waka Chow. There we go. Now he spawns. This one down. No, the boss is actually flying. He's up top. Or I think he comes in after the raid. Or after the clear. I should have went A we spent. <laughs> it's been a while since I did this one. sure he comes flying down now. There he is. Alright, come on. you have to go up there kill that one
Yeah, I guess you do. This is like an RP thing. I remember that. switch to AOE make this thing a little bit faster oh yeah okay this is how you spawn that one you have to talk to him and he'll do that and you kill these These will spawn. And now the top. Oh, oh, this. And then the top will spawn. Any of the green transmog you get out of here? Just a heads up if anybody cares. Sell them. Like that right there? I can sell that one. I don't know if it's worth anything. <laughs> one gold. But you never know. Now we'll come up here and this one. All right, so now those are done. Bottom is unlocked. And this is where we're headed. So there's Eglon right here. This is where you're wanting to tame. And I can't remember if it respawns, but it also drops some mount. That looks exactly like it. But if you're after the uh, the spirit beast pet, it's right there. So we'll keep heading there. Once you get down here, you will click this. Oh no. I do think so you'll know the mistakes. <laughs> oh, never mind. There he is. I was waiting for him. I thought I had to clear out the other one. No, lo waka cho. Come out here, and then we can click this, and then he'll spawn. Money. I gotta talk to him. So, if I go ahead and hit growl, you can see it is tameable and I can tame it. So, if I go right here and hit, uh... oh, I guess you gotta go way out here. Okay, make sure you're not on the platform. Range. There you go. You see, you can get them on the edge. I'm not going to tame them just because I've got enough of them. But just stand right there. 
Or I guess you. Yeah, I guess I will tame him just to show. All right, so I feigned death. Uh, I was gonna wait, or I was gonna kill him because he has a little pet that drops I don't have, but you know what, screw it. I'll just go ahead and show. So just stand on the edge. We're gonna target, and we are going to take it. Boom. So as you can see, Oh, he's got that going, but there he is. So that's how you tame him. I know this one was a lot longer than the other ones, but I kind of wanted to go through it because this little area is tricky if you've never done it before. But uh, that's how you get this one. Oh, cool. So I still can. So I guess after you tame him, you can tame him again. And he drops him out. And that celestial gift is what I'm going to try for. So there's how you get that one. So let's move on to the next spirit beast. Our next spirit beast it'll be the purple spirit beast wolf gar now i mine won't pop up right here because i've already completed this back when wob was uh live but this is where you go to start it you'll go to shadowman valley in drandor at 4565 now there's a whole quest line tied to getting this wolf uh, i'll link a uh, guide for it in the description if you want to do it that way also, say you tamed this or did the quest line as a hunter and you got rid of it for some reason and you want it back. You can come out here and well, I'll show you this way how to get it. And we're gonna fly over here and go into the void realm to tame another one. So let's head out this way. I really like the skybox out here though. And everything looks cool. Well, look at that. It's nice. Anyways, <clears throat> what we're looking for, there'll be a dead tree out here. It'll be right there. It'll be part of the quest line if you haven't done it before. But if you have, this is where you'll go. So we'll head this way. It's the only one that's dead sitting there. And what we're going to do is there'll be a sword right here, Void Blade. We're going to click that and boom, now we're in the Void Realm. So now that we're in the Void Realm, we're going to head over here. Just a little bit to the left. Um, I will go ahead and just point out real quick the... The tree, the void tree, or to get into the void realm, was at uh, 6038. And now let's go find Gar. E, there's, that's it right there. That'll be your lost, uh, or the lost nether wolf will be your replacement pet. So if we go here and I guess you can get two of them. I didn't realize you could get two. Boom. There you go. And that will be your purple spirit. Purple wolf spirit beast. Alrighty. So I got one of my stable. So I'm guessing that's how I got that one. Another one. But anyways, now we'll move on to another spirit beast. Next up on our list will be a spiritual spirit beast griffin and a spirit beast raptor now these two are interesting because they're both found inside the capital cities so the griffin comes from stormwind and the raptor will come from ogre bar so they're not only for those factions so i do have the raptor on my alliance character and you can, and a horde character can get the griffin on their character. It's just going to be a little tricky on the other side. Uh, one thing I do want to go ahead and recommend if you're going for the other sides 
is you do have camouflage as a talent that will come in handy and then there's also i don't think i have any yeah i do so I'm getting some oh no that's not it but getting some invis pots so if you can get some invis pots that's a good chance you can come out here and just see uh where it is so for the on the alliance side what you're gonna do is come to where the flight master is and once you're here you're gonna come over here to this patch and you'll see the spectral feather now this isn't always up so there could be a chance you'll come here and it won't be sitting there so you might have to log out or just sit there and wait but once you see this feather you're gonna click it and once you click it it'll spawn it'll be right there the lost spectral griffin and you can go ahead and tame it so now instead of me going over there on uh my alliance character i'm gonna hop over to the horde side and show you where the raptor is all right so now i'm in ogremar and i am right here at 3569 so once you get up to right here you'll see right here in front of these skulls there will be a spectral eggshell you're gonna click that and boom there's where you're gone your spirit raptor now i didn't ever ch um, tame the griffin on my horde character but on the alliance i do know i sat back here and invised until i got it and i could tame right here without pulling and i'm pretty positive you can do the exact same on uh, a horde doing the storm wind one but that's where those two are in your capital city so now let's move on to another spirit beast all right so for the next spirit beast it'll be a fox spirit beast fun fact about this one the developer added in here uh this spirit beast was actually made because of his daughter uh i i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure i remember reading back then that she was a hunter and she really liked foxes and she chose the spirit beast and he added it to the game so we are out here in duskwood in eastern kingdoms and the fox spawns right here in raven hill but the fox will only be in these bushes if you see the little eyes popping out that's where the fox can be at in any of these now this one can be a pain to find i remember it took me quite a while to get this one but the fox is always just going to be stealthed inside these bushes my best recommendation if you're after this one is to make a target macro so it won't be the exact same but let's see if i go to like right here you'll make a macro and all you'll do is slash tar tar and then lightning paw and you can sit there and just spam it while you're flying around and see if you can find her because she can be in any of these bushes out here so like uh so like right in here you see the eyes the flare see she's not in here but you can just take your time out here i think it's pretty good cool or a pretty much a pretty good wait time yeah, I think there's another hunter over here, but that's where the lightning pole is found. So let's move on to the next spirit beast. This will be a spirit, a spectral spirit beast wolf. So this one has a couple of spawn points, but we are in the twilight islands and the Eastern kingdoms. And a lot of them are added to the Eastern kingdoms, but it can spawn here, here, and then around this purple area. So we'll fly. A little bit around here and see if we can find it um, I know when I got it it was just running around I wouldn't hardly even looking for it and it just spawned and was running uh, let's take a look uh, it looks like that one just spectral uh, yep so there's another hunter out here so a lot of these older ones can be a little difficult to get to be honest like I probably mentioned multiple times, but we can go over here and just fly around this purple star, or I guess purple, I don't know, starfish. See if we can find it. And let's see. With that guy flying by, I'm pretty sure. Probably won't find it because you would have got it before I did. But we can always check. Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes, but this is where it spawns. So if you're looking for the spectral one, uh, this is where it'll be in. All right, so let's move on to the next one. All right, so for the next spirit beast, it'll be the moose spirit beast. So now we're in Legion territory on the Broken Isles and Stormheim. So if you come here, where I'm sitting is 7483, and the rock right here is where it can spawn. And you see there's another hunter just sitting there waiting, but it spawns right there, and you just run up and tame it. That's all it takes for that one. So let's move on to the next one. Next spirit beast on the list is every hunter's favorite pet from Legion, Hottie. So if you haven't done it yet, there are six variations or six different colors of Hottie um, that you can obtain. So how do you get Hottie is I'll leave a, um, a guide in the description about uh, how to get it after you do the quest line. But what you'll want to do is when you go into Legion, you'll be popped up right away about your class order hall, which I do recommend doing this anyways if you haven't done it because you can get their artifact appearances and your class mount. Like I actually put it on my bar real quick. So for the hunters, it'll do that and you can get a wolf hawk. And that's how you get those. But as soon as you get done with um, your class order hall, uh, campaign you will then need to go to uh, for the Alliance side you're gonna need to go to Boralus and for the Horde side you'll need to go to Zandalar in the capital cities for each of those and that's where I'll leave the description uh, in the or I'll leave the God in the description is then uh, I think there's a it's pretty short quest line but as soon as you get done with that You'll go to Storm Peaks and then you'll be able to summon each one and tame as many as you want. Uh, it's actually super fun to do and I highly recommend doing that if you haven't done it. It's just, it's a really cool thing for hunters. Anyways, uh, let's go on to the last few. Alright, so for the last three we are back on the Dragon Isles. And for this one, it's for the Spirit Beast Armadillo or Armadon, whatever it is. Not Armadillo, Armadon. It is a um, blood gullet. So what you're gonna do is come to the Anaira Plains and Broken Isles, and you're gonna come to where I am at 8520, and you'll see this hut. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to this hut, and you'll see this purple essence, or purple thing right here, Essence of Awakening. You're gonna click that, which is gonna give you an hour long buff. And it allows you to pretty much just see things see stuff in right there or whatever but now you're gonna head to the riverbank right here at 6544 so we will head that way a lot faster than the other zones uh, Header and he will be around the riverbank right there. So let's see if we can find him. So uh, go ahead and do other maps now. So let's see. Oh, is that a hunter? There he is. Right there. Blood gun. So that's how you tame this one. I guess it's on a pretty short uh spawn right but you'll see him right there he's walking up there you just have to have this essence of awakening to see him and as soon as you get there you just go ahead and tame him so that's that one let's move on to the last two next spirit beast on the list is zolraka i've already made a video on this so i'll link it up top right now but basically it's in the emerald dream on the dragon isles and it's a tracking team i already jumped the front so you see right there there's the heavy tracks. If we go, should come in between there. Oh, did I miss it? Yep. See, you'll see these heavy tracks and pretty much all you're doing is following it until you can flare in front of him. So he was right there. There's another heavy track. So we can probably do it here and boom. 
and that's how you would tame the spirit beast it's actually kind of fun it's not as hard as you might think it is but uh that's how you get this one zoraka so let's talk about the final spirit beast all right so for the final spirit beast that you can obtain in world of warcraft as of 10.2 it is right here Nakwa. Uh, i have made a video on how to get it but when i made that video it was on the ptr and ever since we have finally found out how to get this one. And this one would be by far the hardest to get until future expansions, unless you just want to pay for a carry at the end of this one. So this guy right here is tied actually to a mount. So if I tried to get it, how you tame it firstly is you get aggro and then you'll fall onto one of these branches. So it'll it'll, be able to stay in range of your team the thing is you have to have a sender of companionship now how you get the sender of companionship is actually from obtaining uh this right here reigns of anuth ross flame of the goddess whatever it is but you get this mouth as soon as you get this mount, you'll get two items, the sender of companionship and a feather for, um, to have that, uh, druid mount form. The thing is, since it is tied to the mount, unless they do anything to change it in the next expansions, this mount will still be here, but just like all the other expansions, it will drop to a one to two percent chance of dropping so even if it becomes easier to farm this in future expansions you still have to farm this mount to tame this pet so there's a lot of options uh by the end of the expansion and this should be easier because there will be another season so people will get stronger and you can buy a carry if you have any friends or you could just wait until this becomes easier and you'll farm it every week until you can get that. But that is how you get that mount, or not that mount, but that um, spirit beast, which this one is different than all the rest of them. This is the first time they've ever tied something like this to a mythic boss. But that is every spirit beast in World of Warcraft at this time. So let's jump on to the outro. Alrighty, well that was a ride. <laughs> this one took quite a while to do. Um, I'm glad I did it though. I hope it helps some people get it. Like I said at the beginning, you don't have to get these pets at all. Uh, your damage and all, it will be exactly the same. If you like a different pet more than any of these, just use the one that you enjoy. These are in no way obligated to use. Maybe in the past they were because of just some abilities, just were really good but now blizzard's got everything pretty much to a good point to, it doesn't matter what pet you get the reason i personally like this i like the challenge of going out and to get them i like the unique models things like that are what keep me going on all those um if you stuck around the whole time thank you for that and uh i will leave as much uh info in the description or yeah in the description that'll help like uh macros guides uh websites um anything like that that can help you get whichever one that you're after and if there's anything else that you can think of uh just leave them in the comments and i'll make sure to reply or add them to the description whatever it is but anyways i hope everybody enjoyed this one uh, it took quite a bit but um it is a fun little side activity i do recommend if you're a bm hunter go try and get one you'll see what i'll talk about anyways thank you everyone for watching the video and until next time peace